Hello, Ori fans, and welcome back to the 2018 Randomizer Tournament. Today we have a doubles match, games one and two, between Team Heck and 3HP Master Race in the quarterfinals. I'm Meldon, and I'm joined by Aiko. Hey, Aiko, how are you doing? Pretty good. I'm super excited for Team Heck versus 5 3HP Master Race, um, or 53 HP Master Race, as you might call them if you were just rigging off their uh, seed numbers as part of their team names, which I'm definitely not doing. I'm fairly sure if they get 53 HP, they will never die. I, I can't come up with any way that could happen. I mean, I could use debug mode and give themselves 53 HP and then also die on like infinite damage spikes or infinite lasers. I, I suppose there is infinite damage, so that would do the trick. But, uh, but like you said, very excited for this match. Um, these two teams, seated fourth and fifth, are very close in terms of their skill levels. So uh, I, uh, I don't know what to expect from this. I, I think it could go either way. I also think it could go either way. Here we've got um, the singles bracket, which is uh, useful because it reminds us that Shed recently won his singles match. And so coming hot off of that, it is going to help him going into um, the uh, doubles match that he is now playing today. But other than that, it's not going to give us an incredible amount of uh, specific insight, but we can now use that to see that uh, both of these teams have not played any matches in their um, bracket so far, so this is going to be their first doubles game probably in over a week since it's been that long since the Swiss rounds. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm sure they've been practicing. Uh, I don't know how much. Um, it can often be difficult to find time for practicing in doubles uh everyone's always busy people have singles matches people have things outside of ori surprisingly that's and, uh, weird i'm i'm not sure how to feel about things outside of ori of course time zones can also be terrifying enemy and when going up against double scheduling i think that might be something ronnie and poogle might have issue with yeah definitely being uh, across the atlantic ocean and uh, Team Hack is a little easier, only has to deal with the East Coast, West Coast in the United States. But uh, Mere three hours. Yeah, it does help. But uh, we are going to be starting shortly. Um, Ushi watching a little bit of the prologue, it looks like. Um, which, of course, we won't be seeing. But Hey, yes. I mean, you don't know that. One of these runners could decide to just not do prologue skip and show us some Naru. It would be quite a surprise. It would be quite a surprise, and it looks like none of them are doing that. Yeah, instead, everyone is wishing themselves and probably their teammates good luck on the rando. Um, maybe even their opponents. Maybe. Maybe they're just trying to ward off bad rando luck using it as a charm. Looks like we've got some color shifts out of all four of our runners. We've got blue, a darker blue, a pink, and then I think that's a lighter blue. Man, it's hard to tell what color it is. That is. And we found a map stone from the first pickup, which uh, is it's kind of a relief to find that early. You don't have to worry about uh, routing around the map differently. Um, but it doesn't really do very much right now. It'll, uh, it'll get turned in for a pickup later. And uh, a keystone for the second randomized pickup increases the chances we're going to be heading towards left glades. But uh, until we see the other two pickups, we don't really know for sure. Yeah, and we could be seeing like some kind of skill, sending them into Blackroot or a teleporter. This could be one of those teleporter map stone seeds where you just have to drop into Grotto and only get to put turn in a map stone. I, I don't think I considered until just now the map stone first pickup might actually be a sign of bad things to come, not good things to come. I always like it, but now that you mention teleporter map stone seeds, I'm a little scared. Yeah, whenever I see a map stone in the first four, it makes me think of that because... Um, that can be one of the reasons you see a mass map stone force placed here, but it looks like we are going to be getting a second keystone, so our runners are going to be able to turn this map stone in in glades and not somewhere else. Yeah, and uh, it's unlikely they'll be splitting up. Actually, seeing that the other pickup is a keystone, they definitely won't be splitting up since there's nowhere else to go. And Poogle is, I think, the only runner to take that fake flippers pickup and finds another keystone. Um, which would provide access to Spirit Caverns if they had another skill, but right now it doesn't really do anything. Yeah, and it looks like another keystone from that fourth health cell, so um, 
that extra keystone Poogle found underwater not going to be incredibly important, but having that knowledge will be useful for Team 3 HP Master Race. Yeah, it's a nice check to have. Um, looks like everyone is just heading down to this map, which is wall jump, so that does open up some more things. Now Sphere Cowards is in play. Oh, an immediate charge flame find after that also opens oh. up the charge flame area. Yeah, and together, if we can scrounge up another four keystones overall, that's going to open up basically most of the right side of the map in the worst way possible. These charge uh, flame wall jump seeds have become a little infamous, I think, uh, over the last uh, several weeks of the tourney because it, it could just be like 20 minutes before we see our next seed. That's our next skill. That's entirely possible. Maybe less because it's doubles, but there's a lot of the map that's open with just these skills, and it could be a while before we figure out where exactly the next skill will be. Yeah, and especially the, the difficulty with these seeds is you can't full clear most of the areas you're going to. You're always leaving a pickup or two behind. Um, and even the couple of sequence breaks you can do to get into some other areas don't allow you to full clear those. So it's a lot of pickups and it can lead to either just some slow paths or some additional backtracking. Yeah, and speaking of sequence breaks, I spy a mega energy that Oshi has found in the um, uh, Spirit Cavern. So we're going to probably see him and someone from Team uh, 3HP Master Race turn that into a check of, or an opening of the Death Gauntlet door, which would give them quicker access to the Grotto Teleporter, which is in or will be in Logic once our runners pick up some more Keystones. Yeah, it looks like Shed might already be at five Keystones after doing the wall jump area. I don't know if he's opened the door to Spirit Caverns, but uh, he's definitely at least very close. Looks like he's heading to BRB where he's likely to find uh, some extra Keystones as well. But uh, that right side of the map is effectively in play now, so that Death Gauntlet play will uh, be a nice shortcut. Yep, and it looks like we found our first Water Bane Shard at the uh, experience above, or the energy cell, excuse me, above the... Uh, wall jump tree, and a second energy um, cell, which will be really nice for our runners, awaits, um, is the EXP behind the um, wall on the way up to charge flame. Yeah, that second energy is a really nice for safety. Um, being able to save a little more, use charge flame and still save, um, all of that can be very good. Um, we also, I didn't notice where it was, but we found one Gumon seal shard, which is unlikely to matter, but uh, it could potentially be uh, important, so. Yeah, that was, I believe, in the EXP um, hidden in the wall jump loop area. But yeah, hopefully it won't matter, or hopefully from the perspective of our runners won't matter. Um, Shed finds extra air dash as that first pickup in Black Root, and then Altar's out. Meanwhile, we haven't seen anyone from Team 3 HP Master Race head down into Black Root just Ooh. yet. That was a, a rough death from Oshi. He gets sent back to the charge flame tree. He was making his way down towards wall jump. And uh, it's a, a bit of a time loss. I don't think he had any checks in that time. So it's just the movement he'll have to redo, but still not good to see early on. Definitely does not feel nice taking a death like that. But he will recover, persevere, and this time make his way to the wall jump tree, hopefully without death. Takes another damage, does place a save, so even though he's at 1 HP, he won't get sent back this far. Does get a health drop, which is very nice if he chooses to go for the damage boost at the top of this area here. Um, looks like Poogle is also heading to BRB, so following behind Shed, um, who's already most of the way through there, will be getting the dash tree in just a little bit. Yep. And uh, I think Ronnie is kind of following behind in Oshi's step, so... Neither of the runners on the bottom of the screen checking anything new for us right now. Yeah, and Shed did find another keystone in uh, Black Group, putting his total up to six and officially bringing basically most of that right side area into Logic. It looks like Ronnie, I think, is now going to head right and be our the first of our players to head into Death Gauntlet. I assume he has... Uh... Oh, okay, he didn't, but will now level up regroup so he can heal here and then have 3 HP heading into the Death Gauntlet. Oh, and very nice. He's able to save this Franky from jumping off that ledge, which means he'll be able to get 
at least this floor opened. He doesn't have the HP to currently check it, um, but not having to worry about uh, breaking that floor later um, is quite nice. That pickup uh, can be it can be a bit of a pain um, where that Franky is so likely to jump off that ledge. Yep, and Shed is wrapping up BRB. We saw that from behind the uh, crushers, he found 100 and something experience. He found energy regeneration from the tree and the ability cell in the main room is just a keystone. So nothing progression-y, progression flavored, progression-esque in the BRB main area. He still has one more XP down here, which is in logic. He'll likely continue on a little bit further after that. Um, but uh, at this point, I would kind of expect that progression is going to be on the right side of the map, either in the spider sack or the grove area, maybe in grotto. There's just there's a lot of pickups. It seems like that's the most likely location. All right. So Death Gauntlet, or not Death Gauntlet, but Glide Vault Roof or Valley Entrance 100 or EXP 100. Yeah, those are both possible pickups right now. You know, in logic, terrible. Uh, this whole 3 HP uh, wall interaction only thing. Ronnie is going to drop into Grotto, it looks like, and give us some sequence break checks. Uh, none of this stuff is in logic right now because everything is just assumed to have gone as inconveniently for you as possible. Uh, and so because of that, without double jump or glide and wind, a lot of this stuff just doesn't go into logic for a really long time. And Ronnie finds the first health cell. On the upper right side, Shed finds grenade. It was uh, behind this boulder escape sequence. So not in logic right now, but that's a, a nice find. Does unlock a couple of pickups and makes uh, opening up plants even easier um, since grenades are free. Um, we'll see if... Oshi decides to come and get that at some point. Um, if he just continues on through this area, there aren't any immediate grenade pickups in his way, um, but uh, eventually he will run into some pickups that are locked by grenade. Yeah, and not having to choose between spending energy and saving is a really big deal. We actually just saw Ronnie leave behind a plant because he didn't have the energy to break it open. We did see him also find a second water vein shard from one of the hanging Gumo experience, um, hanging experiences down here in Gumo's hideout, which um, is locked by double jump, but is also just nice to have. So uh, one more of those, and that will be a full water vein for Team 3HP Master Race. Interesting to see that uh, Oshi, after going uh, through the Death Gauntlet, following behind Ronnie, has now changed uh, where he's going. He's instead heading over to this area above uh, the Grotto Teleporter, which is officially in Swamp. Um, oh, it looks like he's out of energy right now, so picking up stuff from that crystal so that he can um, unlock or break open this plant. Doesn't end up finding very much from it. But uh, taking a different route than Ronnie, so uh, might find something useful up here. I actually really like this routing from um, Oshi, and the reason is a lot more of the pickups that you can check with this route are in logic. Um, so the grotto route that Ronnie is taking has a much higher percentage of the things that you can check when you do it um, are out of logic just because of that um, verticality technical requirement there. But Ronnie does find a third energy cell for himself, so that'll be really nice. Yeah, I'd be interested to see uh, Oshi just finds the second Gumon Seal Shard, and it looks like he's not going to continue on any further, which is what I was just going to uh, question about. Uh, the rest of the pickups above there um, are in logic right now because they have access from the Spider Sack area, but uh, it is a, a slightly technical jump to continue on in that area. So it looks like he just wanted to make a couple checks and is now headed towards the lower part of Grotto. Is that one baby iceless, mini iceless, or micro iceless? I I can never remember which one it is. It's one of one of those. Yeah, I just don't really. Uh, it's it is a trick with a name. You just sort of do a jump around a ledge and uh, receive passage that you are not supposed to have. Let's just put it that way. And oh man, it looks like uh, Shed is going to be the one to check that 100 exp in the uh, valley entry area. Yeah, still has that mega energy from Spirit Caverns going, so is able to put down plenty of saves through this area, which is quite nice. Oh, and it looks like he is 
uh, successfully up uh, and is able to uh, get that suicide slime to drop without damaging him. We also see that Ronnie has found a fourth energy cell. Um, I didn't catch where that was from, so I'm not sure if it was in logic. Actually, I don't remember where enough of the energy cells are to know if they were all in logic, but uh, that does unlock a couple of pickups. Ooh, and Shed finds the Forlorn Teleporter as well as an energy cell from this Valley Entry pickup, so that uh, makes the Goomon Seal completely useless for Team Heck um, and could be a very useful pickup late game. Yeah, um, could be nice to either find some shards in a clutch area or key dupe. Um, the energy cells that Ronnie found were both on the way to the double jump tree in places where they would be in logic. So four energy is now officially in logic for this seed, which means progression vault is in logic. And we might be seeing Ronnie head towards that right now. Yeah, he's headed towards this valley entry pickups as well. Um, he could... Uh, definitely check all three of these if he chooses. We'll see if he chooses to uh, go for that upper XP, which we know to be the Forlorn Teleporter. Currently just having a little bit of uh, a fun time dealing with that bird. I was in a worry about killing that Franky right there, but of course it had already stomped the floor, so not a big deal. Yep, and... and uh, so this is actually uh, kind of interesting. We've got Poogle and Ronnie in the same place, but because Poogle went down to Lower BRB, she has Grenade and she can check that plant, um, and she does, and she finds out that it's just an energy cell, so Ronnie's going to leave it behind. Poogle is also going to stay and check that thing that we just saw Shed check, which we know to be the Forlorn Teleporter, as Ronnie heads on towards the Progression Vault. Yeah, and uh, I doubt Ronnie will come back for this Forlorn Teleporter pickup when Poogle finds it. Um, but hopefully they can remember where it is in case it is important at a later time. Um, very nice job by Poogle doing that uh, sequence of jumps uh, without dying. Um, that I'd say that's more difficult than it looks. Yeah, it is, that is definitely, I think, one of the uh, most technically demanding paths in standard logic, just in terms of what it requires of you, especially just on three health, uh, like Poogle is and like Shed was when he went through this area. Um, Shed, meanwhile, has broken into the spider sack area, has checked progression, uh, the progression vault, and found only a mega health there, so no progression today. They're not immediately useful. He could use that to uh, check the uh, swim underneath the spider sack, um, so could get a nice sequence break in using that mega health. We'll see if he chooses to go for that. He is lighting this grenade lantern, but uh, of course can't get the pickup that it unlocks right now. So instead is likely to just continue on to the rest of Hollow Grove. Yep, and we will see what exactly we find as we've got kind of a sink here, just sort of uh, between where Shed and Ronnie are. In terms of just passing right through the uh, Hollow Grove area. Meanwhile, Oshi is back in um, Grotto, and I'm really interested to see where Poogle goes. Yeah, it looks at the moment that uh, Poogle's just following behind Ronnie. Um, can't actually check very much else besides what Ronnie's uh, already checked, but might just skip all of these pickups because they're not useful, so they can both get into the main area of Hollow Grove a little faster. Um, I don't believe Poogle has gone and gotten one of the right side teleporters, so... Poogle might be just deciding that this is the fastest way to get over there, given that she's already in the vicinity. Yeah, I think that would make a lot of sense. And Oshi on the top left actually was able to break open that plant that Ronnie couldn't because he ran out of energy, and it was a sunstone shard. So he gets the water vein shard that was right next to it, bringing Team Heck up to two water vein shards and also finding that first sunstone shard, putting them in a shard lead. Yeah, that's really nice to have. And it looks like Oshi has four total energy, but doesn't currently have enough to uh, unlock this door. So he might end up just leaving this behind. Uh, I also, I don't believe he has a uh, grenade at this point. So he's still having to spend these charge flames to, uh, or spend energy in these charge flames in order to check some of these plants. Yeah, and he's trying to figure out if he wants to go for the damage boost down to that ability cell, which is technically possible on 4 health, but you can't get out. Oh, and he's going back for, to break this crystal, so he's going to be able to open the 4 energy door. Yeah, this will give him two more pickups, although 
without energy regen or a way to collect more energy, uh, he's going to have to take a, a, slow, a slow and long way around to actually get these pickups. Um, and there's a, a, a couple of slightly tricky jumps, um, especially given that the walls are awful in this section. So kind of a dangerous uh, path for Oshi right now. Um, so we sort of missed this, but Mapstone 3 was dash, and so now Ronnie has dash. That's kind of a big deal. I think Pugo will be grabbing that soon if she hasn't already. Um, it looks like Team Heck is only on Mapstone 1 between them, so that's actually a huge find from Ronnie. Yeah, and looking at their displays, Shed doesn't have a Mapstone right now. Oshi's sitting on 1, so even if they head towards those maps, neither of them can even check that right now. So, uh, that's a, that's a rather big deal. Yeah, definitely. Poogle did not have a map stone to turn in at the um, swamp tell or at the swamp or hollow grove map stone pedestal that she was just at. We saw her try Isis a couple times, so she's going to have to find that map stone that Ronnie found uh, before she um, is. Oh my God! Um, she had just found charge jump uh, in the grenade locked pickup uh, over by the uh, in the outer swamp loop. That is a big deal. And Oshi has successfully gotten the lasers deactivated, and he's pushing this block. Did take one death in the attempt, so has spent quite a bit of time down here in uh, Left Grotto, and only finds 265 experience all total, so not paying off for him at all. Um, yeah, just not even get him a level up. I think, though, what we're probably going to see is him heading into Blackroot, uh as soon as he finishes up in this area, because he is going to want to get that uh, charge jump but he can't until he finds, uh, gets his grenade from Blackroot. Yeah, that's a very good point. I would uh, definitely expect that to be where he heads now. And it sounds like, uh, oh, uh, getting word that uh, we just found wind. It is yep. one of the hanging pickups in uh, uh, the swamp area. So that's a... Uh, very nice to have if you end up finding a uh, uh, glide later, but of course none of our runners have it, so not relevant yet. Yep. Uh, it looks like uh, Shed act accidentally activated his lasers on his way down into Grotto and finds a third Gumon Seal Shard, so uh, Forlorn fans can rejoice. We now have the Forlorn Teleporter and a full Gumon Seal for it. Poogle will probably be finding wind soon, and yeah, we see both Ronnie and Oshi heading straight into um, Blackroot to try and get advantage, or try and get access to that um, grenade so that they can go get their charge jump as soon as possible. And it sounds like the map stones are in the grotto area, so um, as soon as uh, Shed decides to head down there, he should be able to find a couple of those considering he has charge jump and is able to check i think every pickup in the grotto area at this point i believe that is correct yes um we also just saw poogle finding a um found a map stone with charge jump by breaking uh through the ceiling and oh she let go over charge flame too soon there and is unable to get the pickup that's in the uh plant uh and we'll see if she has uh, can turn in Mapstone 3 down here at the bottom of Grotto, or if she is going to need to find one more before she gets access to her dash. Yeah, and on our top left and bottom right, we see Oshi and Ronnie are both in uh, BRB right now. We, of course, know that there's not much here until the very end where they'll find Grenade. So kind of not a lot going on there at the moment. Uh, Ronnie with a, a head start, so he'll be the first to end up getting that grenade pickup. Oh, she'll be a little further behind. But uh, I think it'll be uh, Poogle and Shed who are making our new checks, given that they both have charge jump and access to all of these new pickups in the grotto area. Oh man, Poogle really wants to get to this map stone um, at the uh, Isis area so that she can uh, turn in that... Uh, her third map stone and get access to double jump but with or dash but with only three hp she actually cannot make it through that spike passage unless she decides to use save invulnerability it doesn't look like she is interested in doing that at the moment so she will have to wait a bit for her dash pickup and we're actually getting word that she might still be on map stone one so it'll be a little while before she ends up finding dash at all if she is still on map one, then getting that map there would be very important so that uh, 
she can get it in Grotto. Um, as we know that there are some map stones in that general area. So, oh, and wow, it looks like she is going to backtrack down to the save for energy and is going to use save invulnerability to get through a bit of a time sink, but definitely going to be worth it to get that map stone progress. And okay, it looks like that was her map stone three. Yeah, so now has access to dash and uh, looks like with that is going to come over here and uh, check a couple of pickups here. I, uh, I haven't noticed if she is up to, oh, is definitely up to charge dash. Being able to rocket jump up there and uh, check this hell cell might be able to go back and check uh, the light grenade lock pickup. She She's currently unlocked, out of energy. Yeah, she unlocked it but ran out of energy. Uh, one of her rocket dashes did not land, but she finds an energy drop. So now she is able to do this. Just has to be careful with her single health. Um, to be very careful, needs gonna spam grenades to kill this uh, swarm, and that does get her the health back, and she finds some experience. That was a bit of a journey. We also learned uh, from, I believe it was one of the players of Team Hack, that the fourth Guman Seal shard was in a plant near the Grotto teleporter, which puts us concerningly close to Forlorn being formally in Logic. Yeah, although uh, their current skill set doesn't exactly make Forlorn very appealing. Uh, I guess with Charge Jump, they can go up and get the orb if they teleport in, but uh, I don't think any of our runners have any strong desire to do that. I mean, I'm sure they won't want to, but what if the seed forces them to? Really, that's the... Uh, maybe the uh, play... Uh, oh, this is really uh, interesting. Poogle is trying to be... Er being very thorough for her team and she's going to go and unlock this grenade door and then check what's in it because now it's charged up they have that verticality and meanwhile shed has found map three has found his dash pickup uh so oshi will presumably be trying to get that as soon as possible now that they have that knowledge um otherwise he's going to clear out the rest of the pickups in this double jump area i don't believe we've seen the xp down at the double jump tree because nobody had the verticality to access it when they first went there Speaking of not having verticality on first, ac first access, Poogle finds Glide at the um, EXP in the tree above the Charge Flame tree. And that is going to be a really nice pickup for 3 HP Master Race. They already have Wind, and it might be a while before uh, Chad and Oshi return there, if they do at all. Yeah, definitely. And uh, that does make that Wind Restore pickup a lot nicer. does put a couple of additional pickups in Logic, although some of them were already... Uh, accessible with charge jump looks like Ronnie has found the sunstone shard um that is in uh the left grotto area so i think caught up in the important shards um i don't have an exact guman seal shard count for all of the runners but uh that doesn't really matter in the end yeah i do think now we have sort of reached a point where forlorn would not be an unreasonable play from one of these runners and just with both the number of shards and the skills available to them. It might not be a awful place to check. I think we're going to see Ronnie, however, check the uh, four energy door that we already know to be uh, 265 experience. Yeah, and looks like Shed is beelining straight towards his glide pickup, so uh, he actually probably will find it right now. And uh, that'll give us uh, skill equality between all of our runners, um, well, not quite. I think Oshi's still missing Glide and Dash as a result of his Mapstone count. Um, but both teams know where everything is. They've been to mostly the same areas, so just a couple of one-off pickups right now um, that could be useful if they don't choose to head to Forlorn sooner. Oh my god, that's 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 all five Gumon field shards. Shed just found the fifth one. I think, I think Gumon, I think Forlorn might be the progression path at this point. Yeah, I I think I would strongly consider sending one of the members of either team there at this point. Uh, looks like Shed is going to check the remaining couple one-offs here. I believe there's still a, a couple of pickups like the Glazer and I'm trying to think. I don't know if either team has done the mini-boss at this point, but uh, there's not a whole lot left on the map right now. I think we actually did see both teams do the mini boss. I saw Oshi and Ronnie both doing it. Um, Shed, it looked like when he looked at his teleporter, didn't have the Forlorn TP. Um, 
but I think I might have just missed it because we did see him find that. And oh man, he finds double jump at the dash plant. That's wow. huge. Yeah, that is huge. Although, <laughs> like most of the stuff they've been finding right now, it doesn't actually unlock very much. Um, pretty much their only option right now is to head towards Forlorn or head towards Stomp, um, which is accessible with uh, Charge Jump to go through the lower route. It does look like he's headed towards... Oh, he's checking another map and finds Climb. Wow. Oh, Maps man. are loaded this seed. Yeah, Climb from that map stone is going to be really nice. And I wonder if we're going to see a um, uh, Dash Plant check from Team... Uh, 3 HP Master Raise anytime soon because not having double jump is definitely going to be unfortunate. Is that's clean water? Oh, she found clean water. He found it from the uh, Horu Fields, I think. Well, that actually puts uh, even more of uh, the swamp area in logic. So, well, just a moment ago, I was thinking that Forlorn was the the play to make. Uh, I think swamp or this light grenade play that Shed now has easy access to are uh, some of the best places to check right now. Well, we'll find out which of those ends up being uh, paying off because bottom left, Poogle has taken the Forlorn Teleporter and is going to get us uh, knowledge on what is there. Found a keystone for, so far and is opting for the vanilla route around this. Oh, it looks like Ronnie took a death. He had to go back for that glide pickup. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Poogle only finding an ability cell from this keystone. Ooh, uh, having a little bit of trouble uh, without double jump. Uh, navigating some of these walls and these little areas as you get hit in the air it can be very difficult. Um, yeah, definitely not a lot of fun. She finds an energy cell. Nothing else for her trouble so far. But there are a lot of pickups left in Forlorn that aren't even that hard to check in. Oh, she doesn't have a map stone. She can't uh, get her climb. And on the upper yeah. right, Shed just found the Sorrow TP hanging out just outside of the Light Grenade tree. Um, and with their current skills, they could, uh, Oshi and he could very reasonably consider going into Sorrow at this point. Um, it's uh, not technically in logic without actually finding Stomp, but I don't think they'll consider that to be a, a very important um, limiting factor. And that gives them access to all of Sorrow since they can easily explore that with Glide right now. So. I, uh, I think that might be a, a really nice play to see from them. There's a huge density of pickups there. Yeah, that's definitely that pickup definitely going to be super nice for them. Um, you know, Poogle not actually finding much in the way of anything in Forlorn, though we will see what she finds down here in the entrance and right outside. Uh, and Ronnie is going to be heading into Swamp, it looks like. But neither of those two skills, Climb and... Uh, double jump has been found by a member of team. Oh, well, there's climb for team 3 HP master race. Yeah, nice find from Ronnie. Um, this does give him grenade jumps, so he could use that to get uh, some additional checks some places on the map. Um, of course, with glide wind restored. Actually, looks like he doesn't have wind restored, so he will need to use a grenade jump to come up and check this. We see him getting it first try, getting a vanilla energy cell, which is still quite nice to have. Um, can get a couple extra charge dashes in with that. Yeah, we've seen a lot of energy this seed, and uh, we also just saw Oshi go and grab the Forlorn Teleporter from Valley Entrance, so I think we will see him head to um, Forlorn to search for Water Vein Shards, but speaking of Water Vein Shards, Ronnie just found a third one in the Swamp area, so that's going to be a full Water Vein for Team um, 3 HP Master Race. It was the Sea Jump Lock pickup over here, and we'll see him grab it again because it looks like he took a little bit of a death. Yeah, he accidentally dashed into some spikes going for this uh, cutscene stack here. You can uh, open this grenade door and then uh, do a dash glide over the spikes into the high look at the tree uh, cutscene. But unfortunately, he missed the dash glide, hit the spikes, and died. Yep. And Poogle finished up her Forlorn check and the area outside of Forlorn and found nothing. Just absolutely nothing. Meanwhile, Shed takes the upper route into uh, the swamp area. He's able to do this because he has climb before coming in here, and he finds a second sunstone shard, which uh, gives him a slight shard advantage, assuming he finds that water vein shard near the stomp tree. I would think it's very unlikely that he would choose to skip that pickup since he's right here. Um, 
And it looks like Ronnie chooses to leave the stomp tree and might not immediately head back to uh, that swamp entry location. Instead, it looks like he might be headed into Ginzo right now. Yeah, and Pula looks like is also going to take the lower route, so they might both miss out on that um, Sunstone Shard unless Pugel wraps around and checks it from here. Um, Pugel does not have a Map Stone to turn in, so she's not going to be able to get climbed. So yeah, I guess they are not going to have knowledge on that Sunstone Shard. Yeah, that's uh, very unfortunate, and uh, I think that pickup right there is um, has the potential to give a strong lead to Team Heck. Um, Oshi is continuing his search. Actually, as I say that, he chooses to leave. So uh, giving up on Forlorn, he may have realized that they're only one shard away from being in complete go mode and uh, Forlorn isn't the best location to be searching in that situation. Yeah, he actually left right as um, right as uh, Shed found that third water vein shard. So I assume that was just a, okay, we have access to the full water vein. Let's just bank on finding a sunstone shard in Ginso. But uh, Ronnie is in Ginso, and uh, well, then take a look at his UI and tell me if you see something, or if more importantly, you, you notice a lack of something. Well, I, I was going to look to see how many keystones he has, but uh, he, he doesn't seem to have them showing yeah. up on his UI right now, which I think is quite a big problem. Yeah, he has no keystones, and there was a sunstone shard there, so he is going to be able to... Uh, that is one sunstone shard short of a full sunstone for Team... 3HP Master Race, and it will be a full Sunstone for Team um, Heck when they get there, but this may be a huge problem for uh, Ronnie as he gets to the uh, Keystone door, and if he doesn't find any Keystones here, he won't even be able to key do. Yeah, that's a good point. Although, if you have one Keystone, I don't know if I would choose to key dupe in this area. Having to do that key dupe multiple times just sounds it's awful. pretty bad. Uh, uh, but not having the option also sounds pretty bad, and it looks like Ronnie is coming up on that now, and yeah, there we go, he has no keystones, he finds one, uh, is he going to check to see if the other one's a keystone, so he only has to do one key dupe? Um, it's not, so this is the, do you key dupe multiple times, and it looks like he is going to go for this. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh, this it is, sucks. yeah, it's going to take a while to do this, but, uh, He's already committed to uh, the Ginso play, so I can totally understand um, choosing to key dupe. Um, I think he'll end up having to do two SAs, which he does have just enough ability points, having spent three in Ultra Defense there. Um, and uh, he's going to spend a little bit of time here. We see Shed on the upper right is uh, doing a much faster key dupe in Sorrow. I think he's up to seven keys right now. We'll see. He probably won't choose to key dupe again. Um, banking on finding at least one more keystone before um, going into Ginso. And looks like Oshi found a different water vein shard than what we had before, but uh, kind of doesn't matter. Both teams have full access to Ginso at this point. Yeah, but uh, that lack of a sunstone shard for team 3 uh, HP Master Race, I think, is really going to um, end up be a major problem for them because without it, they are not going to have, they're going to have to keep searching for that sunstone. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe they get lucky and there's a, an easily accessible Sunstone Shard uh, somewhere on the way to the Climb Tree or um, maybe at the Bash Tree. There's a, still a chance that they could get bailed out on Shards and not have to dig through uh, some of the worst pickups. Yep. And Ronnie has finished up his key dupe. Poogle uh, is, heads to the Light Grenade Tree and finds that double jump in the plant uh, above Dash. So that is going to be a skill knowledge parity between the two teams. And now I guess we'll see if Ronnie continues to head up and whether or not he finds that third Sunstone Shard that they so desperately need. Yeah, Pugo will also likely find the Sorrow Teleporter, which will uh, give Team 3HP Master Race easy access to the left side of the map. And uh, that'll be quite nice, but uh, they're going to be getting to all of these locations just a little bit after Team Heck. Um, and they also are uh, sh effectively short this Sunstone Shard, assuming that Team Hack finds the one at Ginso, um, which they, they will, assuming they go to Ginso sometime soon. Yeah, the, the thing I could see hurting Team Hack is if there's a second Sunstone Shard in this key dupe, uh, upper Kidoop room in Ginso, and they just leave Ginso for last, 
Um, but they're not going to because Oshi is in Ginto right now. He just found the fourth uh, or the third Sunstone Shard. And that is going to put, I believe, Team Heck in go mode. Yeah, at this point, as long as they're comfortable with doing a bashless escape, which since they know where clean water is, is greatly helped, um, this should be go mode for them. Yeah, and we found Stomp in that key dupe room. Um, and Ronnie, is he trying to head further up um, in the Ginso tree? I can't actually tell. I think he got all the pickups there and didn't find a Sunstone Shard. So it is possible to continue higher up with his current skills. He may also just be checking all of these things and actually wanted to keep a couple of them, like Stomp and the Keystone he found. Uh, We'll see if he chooses to continue after having recollected these pickups here. It does look like he's doing so. But he can't... He only has two keystones. He'll still have to key dupe. I'm unsure what exactly his full goal is here, but that's not something we need to worry about. Let's take a look at Team Heck's tree progress. We just learned that um, Oshi has 7 out of 10 trees. Uh, we're going to get that number from Shed real quick, and I think we are just going to see them beelining for um, trees. Yeah, I believe Oshi still has the left side of the map. I don't recall he's been to Sorrow yet, so I would leave Charge Jump, Feather, and Climb, likely in that order. And then I know uh, Shed still needs to go to Ginso. He's missing that Sunstone Shard. Yep, and he has 9 out of 10 trees, so Shed, I think we're just going to see do Ginso. He has the Keystones because he can duped. And he can just go grab that Sunstone Shard and head straight up the Ginso tree and then to the final escape. Yeah, and I don't know if Shed has picked up the Clean Water pickup. Uh, we should be able to tell in just a little bit from the visuals in Ginso. He has not. Yeah, he has not gotten that. And uh, that means with his current health, he's going to have a, a, a rough time. Uh, even if he finds Ultra Defense, that's still... Uh, would only leave him one damage boost in the final escape. Um, we'll see what he chooses to do. Collecting that clean water pickup wouldn't take very long if that was what he wanted. Yeah, um, clean water I think may have been in um, in the on the path from uh, swamp to the swamp teleporter to horror. So if they remember and decide, Shed decides that he wants that, he could grab that without costing him too much time. Um, we'll see exactly where that was and whether or not he decides to grab it. Kugel is now in sorrow. Um, still checking some pickups here since they are sitting at uh, two sunstone shards, not knowing the uh, one in swamp entry. Um, I believe we've seen at least a couple of these checks in this section of sorrow when Shed was there. But uh, the rest of sorrow, especially the left side, is uh, not been checked because... Uh, Shed did not need to go there in order to uh, find their final shard. Yep. And we've got Oshi dropping out of Sorrow on his way to finish off his left side trees. I really like this. When you have the Sorrow Teleporter and the skills to traverse from it meet, uh, easily, it just makes a lot of sense to do all three of your left side trees from this uh, one teleporter and then just head straight down. You get the sorrow tree you get the uh, feather feather and then you can just head straight into misty no teleportation required yeah i think it's a, a excellent route shed has collected the bash tree he is all thought out of there he's heading back to the swamp teleporter on his way to uh the final dungeon where he will just need to do door warp into the final escape he picks up ultra defense right there so he's uh, in a good spot even if he doesn't find clean water um but uh, like you mentioned, he will likely grab that if he remembers where it is. Yep, there uh, it actually, is. he doesn't even need to remember. It's basically in his way. Yeah, and I actually kind of like that routing. Just like there, there was never a good time for Shed to go pick it up, but he never needed it to get anything. So just leaving it for uh, this final escape is... Uh... Oh, this is uh, fun. We have one of those rare seeds where uh, our runners don't have, or some of our runners have neither Stomp nor uh, Bash. So to get access to um, Horu Fields, they get to do this cute little momentum storage trick where you shoot a Baneling a lot, and it uh, coils up like a spring. Banelings explode via kinetic energy, you see. So uh, you shoot them a bunch, and they coil up tighter. And then uh, once they start rolling, they release all that kinetic energy all at once. 
That makes perfect sense. Um, yeah. She gets it first try, also gets this grenade jump first try. He has put in the sunstone and will be attempting door up as soon as he uh, gets the auto save upon entering Horu. On the bottom side of the screen, we can see Poogle still searching Sorrow, trying to find this last sunstone shard for her team. Ronnie has collected Glide. I would guess he's going to head into Misty, start searching that for a final shard so that uh, they have the information on whether or not Poogle needs to do all of Misty. But uh, this is definitely not a very good position for them to be in here in game one. Um, Oshi is about to finish his last tree. Shet has door warped. There's not very much time left for them to make a comeback. Yeah, definitely. And I think really just that uh, that one Sunstone Shard at the um, upper swamp entry. And oh, nice. Ronnie does find a Sunstone Shard really early on in... Um, Misty, so Poogle can stop searching, but unfortunately that will be too late. They've already um, searched too much. And um, really, where is Oshi going? I'm not exactly sure. Uh, I Maybe he's... Actually, does he not have the Swamp Teleporter? Because he could be choosing to just take this path rather than teleporting, because it's a, about the same time or faster. Also looked like he needed an ability point for Ultra Defense, so might have just been looking for that. Yeah, maybe a combination of that and just not having, yeah, that uh, Swamp Teleporter. Um, definitely doubles. It can be easy to just not activate Teleporters because you never had that intended way. I guess on the right, we should probably mention that uh, Shed's been uh, blazing through this final escape. Uh, he's gotten through basically all of the hard parts and is now just at his grenade jump. And he will line this up and... Uh, just kidding. He will line this up again. And there we go. Nice first try. Definitely grenade jump. And that is GG to Shed. Yeah, he is totally done. Just needs to hold right during this uh, abbreviated cutscene, considering the skip he just did. We see Oshi is doing the same Baneling Momentum storage. Uh, looks like taking a little more cautiously, but does still get it first try. So he's into Horu Fields. And... Uh, we see Poogle, I don't believe, has Stomp. So I think Poogle is trying to get a climb on this little ledge by Asu's, where you put in Asu's torch to get the Gumon seal so that she can do a climb charge jump C-dash into uh, this floor to break it. Might be going for a slightly different attempt here, but looks like it instead is just going to continue on. Very unfortunate that... Uh, Poogle has to skip that pickup for the time being. Yeah, I think what she'll end up doing is coming back once she has Stomp uh, and just going to the Valley Teleporter, and it'll only take, like, 20 seconds. Those are 20 seconds you really don't want to have to spend, but I think that makes a lot more sense than trying to figure out an ad hoc way of accessing that pickup that you're not sure works. Yeah, definitely. Although it would require getting Stomp, which is, you know, at the top of Ginso, so... Not exactly the fastest pickup to get at the moment. Yeah, um, definitely not routing Poogle is going to be the most happy with, but it's... What are you going to do, right? Yeah, and uh, Oshi is now into this bashless escape, has broken this floor, and is choosing to go up and around through uh, this spiky area that looks very dangerous but actually isn't. Uh, has to turn back around because that laser was firing and... Ooh, unfortunately isn't high enough. May just, yeah, chooses to die and reset this escape. Taking damage there meant that uh, the swim was going to be very difficult. Ronnie is through door warp and is into the final escape as well. So a uh, very close race between uh, our upper left and upper right runners. Um, Oshi takes some more damage there as well and then dies to that lava pillar. So we are nearly tied at the moment, but of course Shed has already finished, so... Even a close finish between these two will still be a win in game one for Team Heck. Yeah, and Poogle will not be able to make it back, uh, even if Oshi uh, takes a while here, just because she needs to go to the Ginso tree, get Stomp, then um, go back for that third Sunstone Shard, which is just really a long trip. So she's through the Elemental Room, which is excellent for him. Oh man, Ronnie, it looks like, never was able to grab clean water, so this is actually a really difficult escape for him. Oh, yeah, so he has to do this escape damageless, then, I believe. Um, there might be a couple of things in it that uh, 
uh, don't do enough damage that he could still make it through that swim with Ultra Defense. Looks like Oshi has spawned Kuro, um, so we'll likely not be going for a grenade jump, but still needs to make it up here rather quickly. Yeah, without Bash, it's really hard to just get up that shaft after you've spawned Kuro. Um, just with the movement skills available to them, it would not have been... Uh, it wasn't really a good way for him once Kuro was spawned uh, outside of the uh, secondary Kuro despawn, um, which I've heard a lot about and no works technically, but that's about all I know about it. Yeah, and we see uh, Oshi and Ronnie still attempting this final escape. This is uh, by no means easy to do. Um, Oshi is through what I think is the hardest part of it now, really just needs to get this Kuro despawn, and uh, the rest isn't too bad. Um, is able to get into the area that you can glide up without spawning Kuro, and is through that trigger. So now just has some uh, grenade jump attempts, and uh, <laughs> takes a little bit of extra damage from that falling rock, just for good measure. Gets his grenade jump, and is through to the end. Ron, on the other hand, has done the same, but uh, will be finishing after Oshi and uh, will not be able to finish before either member of Team Heck. Yeah, um, Ronnie did was able to get that grenade jump through the elemental room so that he got to the swim without taking damage. Very impressive because that grenade jump is hard to line up, but it turned out um, it was just not going to be enough to get him there before Shed. But still definitely gg that's a really hard um escape to do on five health no clean water and he pulled it off yeah very impressive oshi finishes with a final time of a 4851 that'll uh give a average for team heck and the 4650 i guess like 4648 or something around there Math definitely numbers 4648 sounds about right 4640 something um, and Ronnie will finish with a 49.06 uh, as Poogle grabs her stomp. Yeah, so Poogle at this point just needs to head back to Misty, grab that one shard, alt R, head back to the swamp teleporter, head to the final escape. Doesn't have very much left in this seed, but, uh, but game one is going to go to Team Heck. Game two will be following as soon as Pugil finishes, and then a short break. Yep. And um, I think that, honestly, both these teams played really well in this seed. Um, we saw a bunch of... Uh, oh, no, Pugil takes a bit of a death there. We saw a lot of, I think, really good splitting early in mid-game, and um, both these teams had a skill lead um, at one point or another on the other team. Uh, really just that Sunstone Shard for Team um, Heck let them go into go mode so much earlier. Yeah, definitely. And uh, and nice recoveries at points in the early game where uh, they found pickups that were kind of difficult for their partner to route back in. That charge to pick up behind the grenade door where someone had to go back into BRB late to get it. The map 3 dash is uh, can always be difficult if your partner doesn't have enough map stones. So... Very yeah, well the played. early game was really interesting like that. And, oh, Poogle finds that clean water that Ronnie would have really liked to have uh, as she heads to the uh, final escape for herself. Uh, but that will make her escape easier. And she has either a mega health or nine health. I'm not sure which, but uh, either way, that is going to make the final escape definitely a lot safer, which no one is ever going to be unhappy about. Yeah, that makes ultra defense basically unimportant. Um, can take a damage boost either way. And uh, with clean water, the, the final swim isn't a worry, so this should be relatively easy. Um, saying that it is still a bashless escape, so there is still a, a couple of tricky sections. Um, the elemental room often proving difficult, even in uh, the best of times. That is That is a big mood. Uh, Poogle gets her uh, first time door over. I'm actually hearing from Bulajin that he is unhappy about safer final escape, so I will amend my earlier statement to everyone except Bulajin is happy about safer final escapes in general. I think it's important that we uh, recognize people for their preferences. Even if they're wrong. Even, even if they're wrong, especially when they're wrong, honestly. It's easy to tolerate people when they have good opinions. True tolerance is only when you can tolerate people with terrible opinions like 
Dirty Water Escape is better because I like dying. Ooh, and uh, Poogle, uh, unfortunately, is not going to get a first try escape. Um, isn't quite high enough with that charge dump and uh, doesn't likely have enough time to try it again with the cycle and Kuro coming shortly. We'll yeah. give it a second attempt here. This should be good yeah, because, yep. Yeah. All right, now it's just <laughs> this elemental Claire. room. And she can take two damage boosts here and still be fine. She's going to take one, jump up and over, and be good. And with that clean water, she will be fine. Just needs to make sure she doesn't spawn Kuro here at this uh, in this last section. And she will be good to grenade jump out to the finish. He's able to easily kill those fish, taking no damage during any part of that swim. Does avoid spawning Kuro. Just has a climb up here and that final grenade jump that you mentioned. And uh, uh, can actually get up uh, there with triple jump, but instead chooses to use uh, a climb charge jump. Oh, and uh, that looks like... Um, is, is that just like a normal? I Yeah, it's just a missed skip. It looked like she may okay. have been a little low, hit the roof instead of kind of bouncing off of it, instead got stopped. So... No soft lock, we'll be able to finish, but uh, we'll have to watch the entirety of this cutscene. Yeah, but that is still finished and GG for her. Um, and that will bring, um, I think, Team 3 HP Master Raids a final time of somewhere around uh, 52 minutes, something? 51? Math is hard. Yeah, tell me about it. Because I have to figure out what Poogle's final time is going to be, which is math, and then I have to add things and divide things and i uh i'm not i'm not capable of doing that live on stream yeah big mood but yeah that is going to be what do you think we're going to see in game two melvin uh well i mean it's it's hard to predict pickups um i well i can i, I can I've hope got, for a charge jump seed if if we're talking about that I've got a prediction. I think we're going to see at least three water vein shards. That seems two. fairly reasonable. I would even say that we're probably going to see three sunstone shards as well. You know, I'm I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with that. I think we're going to see three sunstone shards and three water vein shards this next uh, seed, and at least two keystones, probably as many as eight, and maybe even more than that. Man, eight's not very many keystones. Eight isn't very many. I think. <laughs> It's either 8 or 10 that's like the absolute minimum. You need two, 4 to get up Ginso, and then 2 for Stomp, and 2 for uh, Double Jump. So 8 is the absolute minimum. Well, either way, uh, we're going to be taking a quick break, and we'll be back with Game 2 after that. Uh, a quick thanks to Griffs for restreaming. He will be continuing on that for the next game. And uh, thanks to Skull and Aussie for tracking. Um, I, I think Aussie will be joining us with Hydra in game two. So we'll see you then, and thanks for watching.
Hello and welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest Randomizer Tournament 2018 doubles quarterfinals between Team Heck and 3HP Master Race. We just had an excellent game one where Team Heck um, managed to win by, uh, what was it, like four minutes or something? It was a nice close race and uh, Team 3HP Master Race are going to be uh, looking for their vengeance and trying to bring this match to a one and one My name is Iko. I am joined here by Meldon. Still. Hey, Iko. Yeah, it's good to be back after that short break. And, uh, of course, everything's on the line right now for 3HP Master Race. They need to win this, push this to a game three, or uh, they're not going to this, the next round. Yeah, they will go home. I mean, I guess they're actually probably playing from their houses. You don't really go home. You uh, stay home. But they will exit the tournament. Yeah, it'd be um, quite nice if we could fly everyone out somewhere and uh, play the tournament there. We could just, like, stream from the site. It'd be really, really cool, but uh, a little expensive. Maybe maybe a bit expensive and also time-consuming, right? Like, I, well, we I might mean, actually... Everyone would just, like, quit their job and just put their life on hold for... Two months, three months. I mean, it wouldn't need to. It wouldn't need to take three months, right? Like we could do it. Like we we could probably do the entire thing over like two, three weeks. Much more reasonable. This this is true. Well, anyways, our runners are off. They are still wishing us good luck on your rando. Uh, we're of course not playing rando, but uh, you're not playing rando. I always play the seeds <laughs> along with the uh, contestants just so I can really get a feel for it. And uh, they find a keystone, which is pretty expected uh it's i believe the most common pickup from that first pickup and uh find an energy cell which is very expected um and we'll have Incredibly to wait and common. see what the next pickup that's actually randomized is yeah and it looks like it is going to be another keystone we're going to get that nice solid boring glades entry um which, start it might be boring for us but as a runner in this tournament, when I get two keystone starts, I'm so excited. Because it's it's boring, but you just get to kind of go on autopilot and just play through the beginning of the seed and then start worrying about what to do. Yeah, um, definitely can agree with you there. It's um, I actually, as a runner, like getting two keystones too because it's a lower chance of having to go into BRB right away. And as a bad player, going into BRB right away is just never a fun, uh, never a good time. Yeah, I can, uh, I can agree with that. Uh, BRB, even for the best of runners, is not a lot of fun. So for the rest of us, it's especially challenging. They do find a map stone, which given that they already have the two keystones, they will be turning that in in glades, um, which is very nice. And uh, looks like a final keystone from the final pickup in this area. And actually finding a health cell, so... Oshi is able to swim out of that water and hold on to that fourth health. Um, Team 3HP Master Race both make the decision after successfully all daring to uh, return to the menu. Poogle actually waits a bit, uh, but they don't apparently want to forsake their team name by going up to 4HP. So they're going to take a, uh, a little bit of a time loss actually for Poogle because she waited um, a couple seconds. But it's important to get that team synergy and cohesion. So they are going to stay on three health. Yeah, and we'll see our first map check, which is Grenade from Shed, which is a really nice pickup to find this early. It means that uh, later on when you're routing through areas, you'll be able to at least open the grenade doors and hopefully check the pickups. Uh, right now, it only unlocks one pickup, which is the XP underneath the Charge Flame tree. And uh, I actually wouldn't be surprised to see that pickup be wall jump at this point. Um, it's pretty common to find Charge Flame or Grenade, and immediately that pickup is progression. Yeah. We also find a glide from this um, second EXP. It do won't unlock anything on its own, but it may mean that we will see a wind pickup, and then the Franky Walk EXP could be something. We could also uh, find a bash with an early grenade, and that would make uh, make some of our runners happier than others, as we have a bit of a control schism or difference between some of these runners. Yeah, although uh, I was talking with Poogle recently, and she was saying that she actually enjoyed a Bash Grenade Seed, so um, looks like Wind Restored is going to be the progression, but uh, Bash might not be as uh, unfriendly um, as we originally expected. Yeah, I did see that too, Poogle mentioning that she actually enjoyed a Bash Grenade Seed, and oh my god, it's Charge Jump. Wow, well, uh, 
this seed has given us nearly everything we need already. Um, they now have access to this upper grenade pickup. Um, they have access to basically the whole of um, the map at this point, since they can uh, use this charge jump pickup to get above charge flame. They can use a grenade to get through the spider sack, and uh, they can go anywhere they want. Yeah, they just can't interact with walls. And one thing that's sort of hilarious is they everyone had to alt R out of the um, wall jump tree area without being able to check either of the uh, verticality locked pickups there. So hopefully, um, well, I actually wouldn't be surprised to see someone head back for one of those, but. Looks like we in the top right, we've got Shed heading up to that charged flame tree. He finds the Grove teleporter, um, which is nice, I guess. I guess it makes him not have to worry at all about skipping that cutscene. But we'll see what he finds at the charged flame tree as on the left side of the screen, we've got both runners in spirit caverns at the same time. Yeah, really nice uh, left-right split and very good sync between our runners. Although immediately that gets broken as Shed is heading over here to... Actually, I was going to say he's heading over to pull that lever, but he's actually alt Ring. We'll see where he chooses to head. Meanwhile, uh, both Oshi and Poogle find the first of our shards. Actually, it looks like the second of our shards, but the first Sunstone shard. Yep. First shard we care about because it's important and matters and isn't terrible. I didn't even notice that they'd found a Gumon Seal shard. That's uh, how much I don't pay attention to those. <laughs> Yeah, and it looks like now we've got Poogle and Shed heading into BRB at the same time, and it looks like Ronnie is going to be heading left in the spider sack. I really like this split. Yeah, especially where Poogle didn't find anything immediately useful in the Spirit Caverns area. Um, there's still a, a couple of pickups in Glades that are accessible. Actually, uh, looks like Ronnie might be heading back to check those first. Doesn't want to go into spider sack without wall interaction. Yeah. Um, or some other skill perhaps yeah and i really like that oshi is heading back and checking both of these pickups he's given us the long glide through that room and he finds charge flame okay well there was a skill there it uh yeah nice yeah not the most useful uh it does provide access to a, a couple of pickups that they can uh, kind of sequence break their way to um and if they choose to get charge flame burn which is uh can be a very divisive decision in this community that does also give them access to a couple other pickups, but uh, we'll, we'll see if anyone chooses to make that decision. Yeah. Um, I am also curious to see if Oshi is going to now uh, go further than Ronnie did in terms of heading to Spider Sack, because I think we are going to now see Ronnie uh, check this upper loop and also check those two pickups that we saw Oshi grab and end up with Sea Flame. And you know... You can also use Charge Flame for Charge Flame redirects, which are much easier than Grenade redirects. That, that's a really good point, and uh, they don't have anything else to redirect, project, redirect projectiles right now. But uh, I don't think uh, redirecting anything is probably the first thing on their mind. The, uh, the most likely one would be uh, doing one to get into Swamp, but of course they have Charge Jump, so have easy access to that once they find Wall Interaction or Clean Water. Yeah, Oshi uh, doesn't pull the lever and wastes a bit of time because without wall interaction, uh, you can't uh, get to the uh, EXP up hanging in that tree if with just these skills because you end up a little short after bonking your head. So he's going to have to come back here again. Definitely might not be his favorite use of time. And huh, we are not going to see him head into um, right the spider sack area just yet, but I think he is going to head into valley entry which we have not seen from any of our runners just yet yeah he can check the first two pickups in here um i can't think of a a way to get up to this um top xp but he can get the Franky to stop this floor and then can throw a grenade or use charge flame to get this upper pickup looks like it's just xp off of the first pickup and an ability cell from the second so not finding anything immediately useful um we'll see he may choose to now skip this cutscene going back the other way. Yeah, he's starting up an essay, so that looks like his uh, chosen path. Yeah, his first ability point spent eight minutes into the seed. Um, from Poogle and Shed, we didn't really find much of anything in Blackroot so far. Our second energy cell will be nice for our runners, but because they have Grenade as their plant break, it's not going to be too big a deal. And Ronnie is now going through this um, 
uh, spider sack area. He does not find uh, something he wants to keep down there, which is good, because if he did, he would have had an obnoxious time damage boosting up and out. He is going to go back and check that grenade door he opened. Yeah, we also have seen uh, some map stones from, I think, everyone from some different locations, so could potentially get up to map three at this point. Um, Shed will be getting, I think, our first map two check here in BRB, um, doing a quick sequence break to get over here into the end of the boulder sequence, and he will Is be checking the... out of logic? I'm uh, not sure that was out of logic, and he finds wall jump there at that health cell. Well, he doesn't have a way to... Uh, he can skip the boulder, but he doesn't actually have a way to get over here without going through the crushers with a charge jump. So he would have needed some wall interaction to go up the left side by the slime. Oh, okay, he now yeah, has wall interaction, but found it, of course, behind uh, that sequence break. So, so either a, a very dash, useful check. Yeah, so either Dash was here somewhere, or um, or Dash was available somewhere in Logic, or something else to get access to that um, wall jump pickup. But I think they're not going to be that worried about Logic. They're just going to be happy they found a wall jump. Yeah, I think it, it probably greatly increases the chance they find Climb or Dash sometime soon on the right side of the map. Yeah, um, or Bash. Could be Bash. Yeah, that, that's a good point. And uh, I think everyone would be happy with any of those three pickups, um, given that uh, any of them would give them some form of uh, additional mobility and access. Yeah, and Shed is setting up to do a Fronky walk. He checked his EXP and... Uh, to keep poking this guy make sure he's not too lazy um meanwhile uh ronnie in horror field is gonna have to do uh this baneling lure twice because if the slime isn't in the right position the baneling will hit it before exploding all its juicy kinetic energy and ooh, he finds a sunstone shard so that is a really nice find a two sunstone shards now for team uh three hp master race and they very much probably do not want a repeat of that first seed where they missed a uh, decently accessible Sunstone Shard. Meanwhile, we see uh, both Oshi and Ronnie finding uh, a Gumon Seal Shard. It looks like Oshi is heading over towards this Horror Field Stomp pickup. Um, so after respawning from that very quick death, he will be also finding the Sunstone Shard. Just uh, a little behind Ronnie all total in this route. Um, and uh, we actually see Pugo going for the same Franky walk. So we see the same plays from both teams, including the sequence breaks that they're going for. So very interesting decisions from these teams. Yeah, and it looks like Pugo is not going to bother with um, going back like Shed did. Uh, Shed went back to the teleporter to preserve his Franky walk, not wanting to risk uh, losing a bunch of time dying. Pugo has no such concerns and is just going to check this Franky walk roof. Um, does not... Did she check the plant? I didn't see her throw a grenade at that plant. I might be going crazy. Uh, Shed checks it and finds clean water that, uh, Poogle missed. That is... Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a, that's a rather big deal. Uh, Poogle also is a result of the way she got into Death Gauntlet, was not able to check that underwater pickup that the Franky, um, gives you access to. Normally, you wouldn't think very much of that as without clean water, um, it's not in logic, but clean water was right there. Uh, Shed was able to check it. It's just a keystone, but uh, it's likely a pickup that 3HP Master Race will either uh, forget and uh, end up worrying about later, or will have to come back for. Oh, speaking of going back, Poogle is going to head back for that uh, pickup, being very thorough, so I think we will now see her grab that plant um, because she's heading back into Death Gauntlet. Um, she was out of energy, so maybe she forgot that she had grenade. Uh, we'll see how she decides to grab this, but it looks like they will not be missing clean water overall, which is important because that would be a sad thing to miss. Oof. Shedda found an energy cell from the XP left of the Garda teleporter, died because he didn't want to keep it and didn't have a good way out of there. But unfortunately, his previous say was not on the teleporter. Uh, it was instead back in Death Gauntlet, so... Oof. Quite All unfortunate. Right, so, uh... Wow, Ronnie finds the Star Teleporter at uh, Swamp Entry, I think, from the plant. So that is going to give our runners access to Sorrow. It's not a pickup you usually see skipped. Um, so I wonder 
what we will see. I, I think we will see all our runners grab that. I'm not sure where exactly Poogle is headed. Okay, she wants to check uh, Deep Flippers now that she has clean water. Um, and finds the Grotto Teleporter. That's kind of hilarious, given where they found the uh, clean water. Yeah, not the not the most useful uh, pickup for anyone. Um, but uh, if she hadn't already gotten the Grotto Teleporter, which I, I didn't notice, it does, uh, of course, give her easier access there, is checking this other underwater pickup um, while we see Shed has started exploring the lower area of Grotto while Oshi explores this upper area of Swamp and finds that same Sorrow Teleporter. Yeah, uh, Shed finds Explosion Power Upgrade in that two energy door in Grotto, which is going to be nice because it means that grenades um, will deal enough damage to break uh, those blue walls in one hit instead of two, and also increases their explosion radius. So uh, you have a slightly higher chance of your grenade hitting a plant and not just sort of having a bad time near a plant, which is usually what you would expect when you throw a grenade at a plant. It also means that Charge Flame is free, which turns it into a, a decent combat ability, although Grenade is also a good combat ability, so... I mean, they're different they kind of just have... Yeah. You know, like, have a shared cooldown. You can be spamming both, and uh, free Charge Flame can be really nice if you're trying to set up a grenade jump and you just want to spam Charge Flame at anything shooting projectiles at you. It's one of the, I think, cooler strategies for the grenade jump in the elemental room in the final escape that we saw Ronnie do last game. It's just charge flame away every projectile it shoots at you. So it looks like Shed is going to be the first person to make a trip all the way down into Grotto. He finds a map stone from that side fall cell that he can turn in nearly immediately um, and takes a, a brief moment, I'm assuming, to write that down. Um, map stones can be very important, so uh, sometimes you'll see... Uh, members of either team pausing to write down important pickups like that. Yeah, and I mean, after last game, where they almost sort of got uh, burned a bit by... Oh, that is a third Sunstone shard, interrupting myself. Um, uh, wow, uh, Shed hadn't picked up either of the two Sunstone shards that Oshi found, but we're now seeing Shed stop and write down that he found a Sunstone shard and a Gumon Steel shard, completing both of those dungeon keys for Team Heck. Also finds a third energy, which uh, would be quite useful if uh, he'd kept the uh, other one he'd found earlier. Oh um, no. Yeah, now he can't check this. Uh, unless he energy glitches this door, or this uh, AC is just happens to be energy cell. It looks like he's going to go for the energy glitch. Um, and I like this. If you go, it's easier to get the... Oh, he's going for it on the way up. It's really hard to get this energy glitch on the way up because... You need to put an energy in the door, the frame you leave uh, the energy range, and okay, he saved, so he's not going to go be going for it anymore, I don't think. Yeah, without certain skills, uh, that's a, a very difficult one to go for, so giving him a couple tries makes sense, but I think giving up on it in the end is a reasonable decision. Um, we see Poogle is heading into Swamp, finds the Swamp Teleporter from uh, this Drain XP, and... Uh, I think is going to be doing the swimming now, or at least uh, doing a short swim to get to the stomp tree. And uh, well, this will be our first check of all of these pickups. I think she's going to be doing the swim because otherwise... Oh, huh, she's not. With charge jump, I think it's slow. She has charge jump, so she could have just broken through that drain EXP, but um, I guess it's not a big deal either way. It looks like Ronnie is going to be heading down here. Um, if he continues down to the left, he will be able to find that third Sunstone Shard. Uh, and a first Water Vein Shard that we are seeing for either team from the, uh, across from the EXP where we saw one last game, actually. Also, Shed was able to get those, uh, pickups. I'm told that he saved drop down to check the, uh, two pickups behind the energy door. So they have that knowledge, even if he didn't actually hold on to either of them. Um, and we do see Ronnie did collect that Sunstone Shard, so both of our teams have that knowledge. Shed finds that Water Vein Shard, so we're uh, basically at uh, Shard parity at this point. Yeah, and Ronnie still doesn't have Wall Jump, which is making some of his routing here a little bit difficult. He's managing to get by because uh, Charge Jump happens to be pretty good, but uh, it does constrain his movement a bit. And wow, Poogle finds another Water Vein over here in the Stomp area. So that is going to be a nice find for her. Yeah, some very early shards. We're just one shard away from having access to all of the dungeons. And uh, 
I think at this point, uh, that means that skills are really the important thing to find. Um, accessing all of the trees right now is not so easy. Shed picks up just an energy from the mini boss, so uh, definitely uh, probably worth the time he spent there, but uh, not especially useful. Um, that is a fourth energy in logic, so now any of the energy doors are accessible and in logic, um, especially the underwater one in the death gauntlet, since they have clean water. Poogle finds a second water vein shard here in Swamp, so that is a full water vein for Team um, uh, 3 HP Master Race. That is very nice. She's going to be happy she found that, and it does mean that really all we need to see from the for these runners are skills. Yeah, and uh, they have the Sour Teleporter, and they have Charge Jump, so you could possibly make an early play um, to the left side of the map. Of course, with their current skill set, it would be rather difficult to uh, progress very far in Sorrow. But uh, we'll see if 3HP Master Race chooses to make that play. On the other hand, Team Heck is in desperate need of heading towards Swamp to find all those Water of A shards. Yeah, um, and I would be surprised to see them miss out on the ones that uh, are there because one of them is just like obviously next to the tree and another is in the Grenade Swim. Um, nearby, both of which are just easily reasonable things to check, but they're going to be in search mode or searching for skills mode or and shards mode until they find uh, their way over to Swamp. Yeah, and if progression is currently uh, in the Ginso tree, um, which it could be, then finding these pickups could be very important, and uh, this could be just the lead that 3HP Master Race needs in this uh, elimination match. Yeah, and wow, Poogle found another Water Vein Shard. So there are three Water Vein Shards in like Clean Water Swamp, so I really like this play. Poogle immediately heading to the Ginso Tree, saying, okay, this is a reasonable place where progression could be. There are a lot of pickups here. She has six Keystone, Charge Jump, Wall Jump, and th I, I really like this play from 3HP Master Race. Yeah, in fact, uh, Poogle could even choose to continue above the Bash Tree. Um, to get all of the pickups there will require a couple of uh, tricky charge line redirects, but uh, it's definitely possible to uh, kind of full clear all the way through to the second Keystone door. Yeah, I would not be surprised at all to see her going for that play. Um, and, oh, look, on the top left, right, we saw, well, we see Shed dying, but before we saw Shed dying, we saw Shed heading towards... Um, that swamp area, so we may in fact see that from him, and oh no, I guess not. He is not going to head to swamp just yet. That's uh, that's rather unfortunate. Um, I believe Oshi has already checked uh, at least a couple of the pickups in the rest of this area, so uh, we'll see. Oh, it looks like he may be just turning in another map before he heads in that way. Knew about a map stone over here and uh, has easy access to this map right here. Um, yeah, actually, Turns out last to just game, be XP. I wouldn't. I'm not surprised to see them caring more about map stones, given that we had climb and dash in map stones last seed. But uh, Oshi is heading over into swamp, so they will get that Ginso knowledge or those water vein shards very soon. And now we have Ronnie in the bottom right finally doing um, Blackroot, so he can get his wall jump. Yeah, that's a definitely an important pickup at this point, where uh, it's the only form of wall interaction anyone has found. And uh, Shed is following very closely behind Oshi. We'll see how they choose to split up this area. Of course, we know that kind of no matter what way they go, they're going to find uh, some of these important pickups that they're looking for. Yep. And uh, oh my God, Ronnie has is that thirteen keystones? I I think that is. That's um, that's a lot of keystones. Yeah, it looks like Oshi has eleven, and uh, Shed is sitting at ten. So everyone is hoarding those keystones basically have enough for the rest of the game. I don't know. What if they want to open that lower keystone door in uh, Sorrow? You know, they might even have that as an option right now. Uh, Poogle is having a little trouble with that mini boss. Up. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Does uh, eventually kill it. Um, chooses to continue leveling up in that blue tree, heading towards uh, Ultra Defense. Although... Not a, a big issue at the moment, where they already have clean water, but uh, still without uh, some more skills, the final escape would be rather difficult right now. Yeah, definitely would like to see a few more skills before... Uh... Oh, and finds another Hell Cell, that's really nice. Um, 
All right, and before the bash tree, we are not finding any skills as it uh, looks like Team uh, Heck is going to be grabbing their water vein shards uh, near Synced. Um, Shed finds his right after um, Oshi just found his other one. So they are going to be coming out of Swamp with that completed water vein. And Poogle is choosing to continue on in Ginso, taking a quick damage boost there to get over those spikes. Um, now, at this point, could choose to do a couple of uh, redirects on uh, these shots to access these two XP pickups. Um, looks like I'm she's just to. choosing to skip it. Um, I kind of like this because with her current skills, like if she believes that the logical progression wasn't... Um, Oh, that's actually really interesting. She finds climb. I'm gonna. I wonder if she's going to now backtrack and check those things now. But uh, what I was trying to say earlier was the things down there weren't in logic, and because of that, with their current skill set, so they couldn't have a progression skill in them. But now with climb, maybe uh, something in those is unlocked by a climb charge jump breaking it. Although that wouldn't actually put it in logic now that I think about it. Yeah, it could be interesting if Climb unlocks something else, and uh, at that point, that puts those pickups in logic. They could... Oh, Stomp. they find Stomp. Never mind, that puts those in logic. At this point, I really hope she uh, backtracks. I wouldn't be surprised if they end up finding Bash uh, from uh, something Stomp locked at this point. Yeah, definitely. Um, and it could just be like Light Grenade Tree. Um, I would be really happy to see Poogle head to the Light Grenade Tree instead of heading immediately uh, to the left side of the map after this. Although with that Sorrow Teleporter, with Glide, and with Wind, um, they definitely could just full go mode this. And it looks like Ronnie is heading towards Ginso. He actually, I, I say that as he walks right by the tree, he might be checking... Actually, I'm not sure what he's doing. He's Showing just, off clean water. Yeah, he's he's hiding behind some of the visuals on the map right now. Um, he's actually heading back around towards the left. I, was I think he probably he... forgot to activate the teleporter, would be my guess. Uh, nope, it's not that either. All right, well, Ronnie is uh, moving in mysterious ways, we will say. Um, Shed has gone into the Ginso tree, um, and Oshi finds uh, an extra water vein shard, one that we already knew about, but... Uh, also finds the Forlorn Teleporter here, which uh, seems very unlikely to turn out to be useful at this point in the seed. Um, but uh, I guess it's nice to have. Oh, it, I think Ronnie needed to head into Swamp for his Water Vein shards, but... Um, wait, no, if that's the case, he wouldn't be coming through this route? I'm, I'm so confused. Yeah, I think... Maybe he just didn't have the water vein shards he needed to head into uh, the Ginzo tree. Yeah, and he may have started heading that way thinking, oh, I can go through that route, but of course he doesn't have Stomp yet, he doesn't have Climb yet, he doesn't have Bash. So all of the traditional ways of accessing um, that area of Swamp, I say traditional, some of them, sequence breaks, but... Um, well, the, 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 the traditional sequence breaks, right? Like the ones yeah. he's used to from his extensive all skills. Uh, running experience, but that is uh, that uh, those routing choices he made are going to cost him and his team a uh, time he would not like to give up. Google is going yeah. for the grenade jump entry into um, light grenade tree. It takes her a little while, but she does get in. We'll see what she can find over here. Ooh, she finds spikes. Yeah, and. Uh... Doesn't really have the uh, the verticality to easily uh, get across this, um, but does have grenade jumps, so can choose to use those. Um, looks like that will be her uh, preference. Gets it first try, very nice. Kills this bird so that he can't harass her anymore. And she is going to check this grenade lock pickup, I think. Um, I, I do like checking this. I think it makes a lot of sense, given um, what skills she has. And... Finding double jump or bash here would be really nice and make it a lot easier to just close out the second part of the game. And now we've got Shed continuing up past the bash tree. And he will probably be grabbing that climb and stomp as well. Yeah, we'll see if he takes the time to do these redirects um, immediately. Um, looks like he's just heading straight up to these four keystones. So kind of adhering to that same uh, train of thought we've seen from everyone else. 
Um, he's gonna check. Oh no, he's not going to check this one. Krugel is going to make it to the light grenade tree first. Uh, she found the valley TP, which would be nice if she didn't already have the sorrow TP. Um, and yeah, actually, I think now we've got both uh, because of how long this swamp, uh, these water vein shard finding took. Uh, for Ronnie, we've got both members of Team Heck in the Ginzo tree before um, Ronnie gets there. Yeah, and uh, again, Oshi will know to continue on to find those other pickups. He won't have to double back um, for the ones that Shed's collecting right now. Um, but uh, we now have Poogle, the leading runner, checking all of these new things for us, um, while Ronnie is lagging a little behind everyone, so... Difficult to say who's in the lead as a team. Yeah, definitely. I think it's... Uh, oh, wow. Poogle is not going to head immediately to the left side of the map, and I think that uh, could be a bit of a problem for Team uh, 3HP Master Race because I think this is enough skills that we will see Team Heck enter go mode. Yeah, and they have access to the Ginso tree, so this... Uh, oh, I mean, not, not the Ginso tree, the... Sorrow Teleporter is what I was thinking, the Charge Show Tree. So, I think making that play is makes a lot of sense, like you said. Yeah. Um, I wonder if Poogle is looking for the Sorrow Teleporter, because I don't know if she was the one on Team uh, 3HP Master Race who was able to grab that. I don't actually even remember where it was. Um, all I can come up with is a couple of other teleporters we found, but uh, none of those were actually that useful. That would be a good reason to be checking around here. Um, accessing a... Uh... Water here, maybe? Um, no, it was it was from this plant. That, that's what she's doing. She's gra This plant is a star teleporter, and she wants to grab that. Um... Also was able to make a check on that uh, previously locked ability cell there. Gets a map check in. I would expect at this point is, yep, going to alt R and head towards uh, the teleporter. Yep. All right, that is going to be good for her, but I think does mean that the information lead that her team has is not going to be um, that high compared to what... Man, this is just going to be a really close race all the way through. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see if it's possible one of the teams chooses to make kind of an off-check in Sorrow or somewhere else and ends up finding Bash, which uh, could be very good, or Dash, which would be... Uh, quite the helpful speed boost but otherwise uh it looks like it's a gonna be a pretty linear path for everyone to just go around and collect the rest of the trees they have all the shards they need yeah this is really just going to be a who can execute on this um finishing up this game uh because all these details oh poogle is still checking things oh man that um i wonder if we're going to see a similar um strategy from uh, three H Master Race. Fugle finds a Sunstone shard. Uh, she didn't have a finished Sunstone, so that might be uh, nice for her. End up saving her some time that she would have had to spend collecting those uh, extra Sunstone shards. Yeah, it definitely could be nice, but uh, you have to wonder uh, if she's going to find anything else useful in this area that will uh, save any time. Uh, Shed has collected the light grenade tree, which I believe means he has all of the right side, um, and he's headed towards Valley. Um, does Team Heck not have the Sauron teleporter? Um, I thought I saw Oshi grab it, and Oshi just used it, so I believe he does, but um, I don't think Shed wants to grab it, so he uh, is not going to make the play Poole did. Um, he tries to skip the kill plane with the grenade jump and uh, fails to, unfortunately, but he is going to go into Valley. Uh, via the teleporter and get some info on what is there. Poogle is returned to spawn and we'll see where she goes from here. She did, Oh, she needs to get her double jump tree and probably wants to grab the sunstone shards uh, that were in that area as well. She's also going to take the time to open this 400 door underwater. Yeah, I can, uh, I can understand like every time you come back you remember some pickup you've forgotten somewhere on the map and if it's real close to spawn it Makes sense to just grab it real quickly so you uh, don't worry about it being important. Yeah, go moding in this game can be very hard with skill sets like this. Uh, we know as like the observers that this is like a very close race, and uh, we obviously don't want to see uh, or would prefer to see our runners check as little as possible, but they can't know that. And so 
for them this is just a reasonable strategy to like being thorough and making sure they don't get randoed with like a bash pickup somewhere around here uh oshi was just back in ginso did he take a... he had to load a backup save i think um he ended up making some kind of uh made a play in sorrow he did not end up agreeing with um really unfortunate that he had to load a backup save there is poogle 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 is checking the sunstone i think oh, oh, okay okay That's... finds an energy cell up there um meanwhile shed is having a little bit of difficulty here in uh, uh this area of valley but uh does have a nice save here so should be able to eventually make it through uh doesn't have very much health, and that spider is not being very cooperative. Um, <laughs> that looks that like... spider is incredibly unhelpful when you don't have Bash. It's just like the rudest thing in the world. Yeah, Shed is actually going to just take the time to kill it. Um, does make it through here, takes another spider shot to the face, but has enough health to survive that. And uh, will now be able to get over to the rocks. But uh, that yeah. the lack of a cutscene skip there uh, has actually taken a He's spent a lot of time recovering from that. Yeah, we've, we're seeing all four runners just make a lot of checks that uh, I find... Um, I mean, I, I guess they're just interested in finding, just making sure they really don't want to get randoed and trying to strike a balance between, okay, how do we go into go mode versus what do we... Um, what what can we afford to skip and what can we afford to play without? And it looks like um, Poogle doesn't want to go further into Left Sorrow and she is going to drop down here into uh, oh my god there was another sunstone shard from the feather tree that's that's very powerful yeah it's kind of funny that we were worried about shards for so long and uh now we've found a bunch of extras um basically just in the path that's required that's actually ronnie's or sorry shed's second sunstone shard so he's still missing a couple but uh presumably his team knows where they are and uh, has written that down so he'll be able to collect them later yeah, and I think what we have here is just, this is, if you haven't practiced it, a pretty obnoxious mistake, uh, or escape. Without dash and, uh, or double jump or bash, you just have very, you don't have much of a margin for error in terms of mistakes that you would make in the air. So it can be really obnoxious to, um, maybe the runners are like, okay, well, if we don't find something, it just means that we are going to be set up such that we could end up taking a long time in the escape. And like we saw even with double jump and uh, dash, these um, some of our runners weren't having the easiest time in the escape. So I could definitely understand wanting to find more pickups. Yeah, and it's especially, it's an escape that basically requires you to grenade jump to do it without taking damage and um, without running into any significant problems. So. Uh, our runners might all be comfortable with grenade jumps, but doing a series of grenade jumps under pressure with things trying to kill you, that's a whole different beast. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Poogle is able to save Scum some of these checks uh, in the Fax area, the Three Birds area. I think we're going to see your head into Misty, having failed to find anything in the way of nice or useful skills down there. Meanwhile, we've got Ronnie and Shed going through Misty. Um, again, not finding much in the way of skills. I wonder where those skills are. Well, at this point, Bash can't be in Misty. It could only have been the first two pickups. Um, but Bash could be in Lower Valley. Um, I also don't think we saw a full clear of Sorrow, so there's still a number of pickups in there that it could be. <laughs> we find another red pickup. This time it's Warp's Return from the Climb Tree, and Ronnie spams that for all of us to see. Yeah, so now Ronnie only has one tree left to collect, and um, I don't remember which one it is. Uh, Light Grenade, I think? Light Grenade, no, um, yeah, yeah, that's right. Poogle was the one who's been down to Light Grenade. And this puts him... Uh, I think we may see him... Oh, actually, no, that's interesting. Shed actually went to Light Grenade first, so he may be the first runner who heads toward the final escape. Because uh, he's in I Aldar after this tree, right? 
I think Shed still needs to go to Charge Jump because he went to the Valley Teleporter as opposed to the oh, Sorrow right, Teleporter yeah. and has been working his way that way. Um, which means that I think Oshi could be the first person to get Tree 10. It'll really come down to uh, kind of just movement through here. Ronnie does get this Grenade Jump uh, rather quickly though, so I think that puts him in a solid position to be the first person at Map 10 or at Tree 10. Map 10, pretty far off on account of there only being nine of them. Yeah, it's rather difficult to uh, do that. You could get 10 map stones, though. You that is get 10 possible. Map stones. That is entirely possible. Um, I'm not sure we'll see that from either runner. And yeah, I'm just really uh, interested to see how these escapes play out because this is not an easy skill set to escape with. And we are seeing uh, from the amount of checks that Poogle is making, I do think that we probably uh, should take it as an indication that she is not incredibly excited to do the escape with these skills. But yeah. No, we actually see Ronnie and Oshi uh, Aldarian at basically the same time. Oshi with a tiny lead, but... But he... Oshi's at uh, only nine trees. I believe he also hasn't gone to Light Grenade, so he was actually further behind Ronnie than I thought. Um, oh, yeah, that is true. So Ronnie could pull out a pretty big... Um, for like Could end up being in first by a fair bit, and that could give Poogle more time um, for that escape execution. Yeah, Poogle does still need to clean up uh, the rest Double of the trees. Three, I think. Yeah, it definitely has that left. Uh, I'm not sure which other ones uh, has remaining. We see Oshi going for a uh, climb charge up to get down to the light grenade tree. Of course, he has stomp at this point, so just choosing to do that out of uh, preference, I guess. It, it's fun. Um, is Poogle, has she been to the bottom here? Is she? Okay, no, she's not soft lock. Okay, good. Yeah, it doesn't run into that. Uh, Oshi has a little bit of trouble with this grenade jump on the first attempt, waiting on the laser cycle now. Looks like the grenade jump's a little bit low, so is it bonking on this uh, little piece outside of it? Ooh, bonks on the ceiling as well there, but is able to uh, get through before the laser finishes, so... Uh, is safely through, has a save inside of here, even if he's still having some trouble getting um, over those spikes. Yeah, and Poogle is going to make her way down to the double jump tree, and does she have one more tree after this? I'm, um, I'm not sure. We'll just have to find out uh, when we see that map, or that tree count. I don't, I don't know why I'm so fixated on maps right now. Where is Shed going? Oh. Ched needed his third Sunstone Shard, and the one he decides to end up grab is that one in Spirit Cavern. So I think that will be his last thing. So he will be heading to Horu now. Um, it was, Ronnie is already inside of Horu. He is watching the warmth cutscene. Karo is about to swoop down and uh, cause some troubles for him, which uh, are not as easy to avoid right now since they, again, don't have dash, double jump, or bash. Yeah. We'll see how he's able to do on this escape. This really could be an important moment for 3HP Master Race. He needs to finish soon to give Poogle some extra time. And Poogle had the Charge Flame Tree still to do, and that was why she is not heading to the escape. So she is going to have to come here, do this, and then um, we'll be heading to the escape right behind Team Heck. Oh, man, Ronnie. Oh, Ronnie. Okay, he gets through. Uh, that can be very spooky. And oh, no, he takes some damage. So now he has to do this Charge Flame... Uh, or he has to get this uh, grenade jump here um, without taking damage from the elementals. Well, oh my god, he gets it! He's through! All right, he's got wow. clean water, so um, he might get the... Uh, he just needs to skip Kuro, and then he'll be through. He just has to take this slow, make sure he doesn't die of the fish. This is huge um, if he can get through here first time. All right, he didn't spawn Kuro. This is massive for Ronnie, um, and could be huge for Team 3 HP Master Race. Yeah, he is up to where he can attempt his final grenade jump. Um, Poogle is currently on the way to Horu. Um, looks like Shed and Oshi are both having a little bit of trouble here, taking some deaths, having some difficulties. Uh, Poogle is just behind both of them. Um, I don't think any of our runners could imagine how close this is right now. Yeah, this is incredible. And they're going to be getting that info as... Um... Ronnie at, as they're doing their final escapes because of when Ronnie finished. So, uh, man, that's going to put a lot of stress on uh, Shed and Oshi because they have no idea where Poogle is and put a lot of stress on Poogle because she knows that 
um, she needs to get through her. And oh, I think I see how um, Shed and uh, Oshi might have died. This uh, navigating through here with uh, just without doing a grenade jump is really tricky. You have to um, charge jump in just the right place to make sure that you can get all the way over it all. Poogle does get a really nice grenade jump to get over here, and she's going to be entering Horu not long after Oshi and Shed. Oshi has gotten a first try door, I believe. Shed also gets a first try door, so they are both through into the escape. Poogle is watching this entrance cutscene. We'll be attempting door for herself in just a moment, as both of the runners for Team Heck are entering this warp cutscene at nearly the same time. They'll both be attempting their escape. Poogle, I think, also got, got a first try door. He's going to go check the validation pickup in hopes of a skill here. Uh, only finds an ability cell, unfortunately. Uh, man, that is going to cost her like an extra like six, seven seconds, and I hope that doesn't end up being anything important because now she really has to do this escape, and it is not easy. Yeah, she does know that where Ronnie has already finished with a forty-three thirty-one that uh, she has some time right now, but uh, she has to imagine that uh, both of these other runners are on their way to the escape or are already attempting it. Yeah, and oh man, um, this is going to be really, uh, has to be nerve-wracking for all the runners, especially uh, Team Heck, just because, oh no, Oshi, Oshi, he gets up, he's through, they're both through the elemental room on almost no health. That is massive, that's honestly, they are past the hardest part of this escape. If they can get through here and not die to fish, and with Charge Flame, they can be careful, and with clean water, they can be careful. Oh no, Poogle. Oh no, and Poogle dies. This is this is getting very close. It looks like Shed and Oshi are both going to be able to finish on this attempt. Oh, but Oshi dies to a rock. Shed he's is Kuro. fine. Oh, she's on Kuro. Yeah, so that was going to be hard for um, Oshi either way. So now I think we're going to see Shed finish here, and Poogle is going to uh, be racing with Oshi. Wow, this is crazy. Yeah, Poogle definitely has a little more time to uh, work with right now. It looks like. Oshi gets that grenade jump, is back to this elemental room. Poogle takes another death. Uh, Oshi has taken two damage uh, boosts, but is able to get through that room. And Shed is just about to finish, uh, just has the final cutscene. Poogle is not going for the um, despawn Kuro method for this room, so she has to get this charge jump first, or, or this uh, grenade jump first or second try if she is going to get through here. And no, this is going to be another death for her in this room. And yeah. Oshi is through here, so he's going to be able to get his grenade jump, and Poogle is running out of time. Yeah, so Shed finishes with a 46.08, so that's about two and a half minutes behind Ronnie. Um, Oshi will be finishing shortly, so I think after Oshi finishes, that means that Poogle will have uh, about that same two and a half minutes, a um, little bit more time than that, to finish. Poogle takes another death. Yeah, um math is hard i just wow i this is incredibly tense and poogle will of course be seeing oshi's time in just about a minute um and that has to just only add to the stress of this escape okay. does get this grenade jump is okay. through to the elemental room can afford to take two damage boosts i believe here yeah and i hope we'll see her go for that strategy okay she gets up and it, oh no that <sighs> elemental shot knocked her off the wall no no that is really unfortunate that is oh really hurts and man without dash you're just limited to ori's walking speed which is so slow just getting through all of these areas yeah and oshi finishes with a 4708 which actually makes the math really easy that is a final average time of a 4638 um but uh despite the fact that, that says winner at the top i believe that poogle and ronnie do still have a chance, depending on how Poogle does here. All right, Poogle just needs to charge jump up and out of this. All right, she is through. I think she will probably, she can't die here. Um, she has to get through the swim and probably needs to get the final escape grenade jump too. Um, we'll see. Oh no, Poogle the fish! Please use charge flame. Please charge flame. All right, no, she doesn't need charge flame. I tell a lie. All right, she's through. Didn't spawn Kuro. So now she just needs to get up here and do her grenade jump. Oh my gosh. She has to finish before we are hearing from the truck that she needs to finish before uh, 9440, which means, oh my god, she gets hit by the rock. Right, lining up her grenade jump. Does not get it first try. Does get it second try. Uh, I'm not very good at math, but I believe that's good. 
Hugu will come in with a time that is just fast enough to beat Team Heck, and that means I think we'll be going to game three, but uh, I, I need someone to verify this for me because I have no idea what's going on anymore. I, I think what we are seeing is... Yeah, I think it's going to be it. There's, um, this is a going to be a win for 3HP. The uh, holding right for Naru does not take like 40 seconds. So she is going to finish in here and bring their average to just under um, the average for Team Heck. And wow, this is going to go to game three. What a crazy finish coming in with a 46-14 average time for 3HP Master Ace, a 46-38 for Team 3 or sorry, for Team Heck. So game two goes to 3HP Master Ace. We will have a game three, and I am very excited to see how it turns out. Yeah, I I, I don't think you can get more hype. Or could it get more hype than this? I guess we could have all four runners finishing at like the exact same time, but um, other than that, I just wow, this was just such an incredible race. And this was like a very difficult escape. And we saw that like these runners were still searching for things because they w weren't necessarily comfortable for it, but they still managed to get through. And wow, that early um, lead for Ronnie definitely allows Team 3HP Master Race to put this back to the one and one Yeah, insane from all of the runners involved here. This was just crazy close and a very difficult escape to be doing under that amount of pressure. Yeah. I, I, I have lost my capacity to form concrete sentences, I feel like. I just, staring here at this, sitting here staring at these average times, I'm just like, that, wow, that just happened. Um, so because of how we have this set up, we are not going to get game three here today. We will tune in, I believe it's going to be tomorrow. I'm actually not sure if they've uh, decided on a time for this, so we'll okay. we'll find out at some point. Yeah, we will have more Ori for you today. Um, we are going to have on here this very same channel, uh, Trojan Dude versus Covert Muffin in 30 minutes, or 7 p.m. EDT. So definitely, um, are you, you're not going to want to miss that. Uh, Covert Muffin, very good at the randomizer. Trojan, also very good, and he's been putting in a lot of practice. Um, so he is going to want to, uh, so yeah, definitely don't miss that. Wow, words. Yeah, you, you definitely don't want to watch that. Uh, Wait, what? No, you do want to watch that. You don't want to. Or you don't want to miss that is what I meant to say. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> <laughs> Very important difference there. All right. Yeah, I think that's going to be all from us. Do you have anything else, Melvin? No, I'm I'm still just speechless. My my brain isn't working anymore. That is, yeah, same. All right, well, uh, let's give a quick thank you to our retriever Griffs, our uh, truckers Hydra and Aussie, and uh, all our wonderful viewers who were uh, here to watch this incredible race that we had. <laughs>